Hello friends, let's see how we can add animations to our AngularJS application. We have an application up and running in which we have this guitar list. Where we have data binding, when we write bass, it filters the guitars. Secondly, when we click on guitar, it goes to details.html page. And here we have our previous and next guitar buttons. And when we click on checkout button, it goes to the confirmation page. What I want here is a good user experience which means by this is that when I hover over this guitar list, I want a smoother effect. When I search for a guitar, I want that guitar list to appear smoothly. When I click on guitar, I want it to go from one page to another page smoothly, not like this that everything is happening abruptly. So let's see how we can implement animations in our guitar application. I go to the existing application that we are developing from the previous tutorials. You can download it from the link below. So first thing, we need angular.js animate module file. We can download that file from angular website. In angular website, we go to this download button and when we click on download button, it shows us the extras option in which we have browse additional modules. I click on additional modules and go to uh, this list right here and click that angular animate.js file. That angular animate JS file is a module for animation. So I already have downloaded this file in my lib folder. As you can see here, this is our angular hyphen animate.js file. Next thing is this, you have to include that angular hyphen animate.js file into your main HTML file. So our main HTML file is index.html. I'm just going to write the script and going to write the source of that file so here we have the link to that file. next thing we need to go to our controllers.js file which is holding our module and our controllers and add the dependency dependency means we want our data to be dependent on that animation module so we write here ng animate and save it next where i want the application to appear so in my case, I want my application to appear in this guitars list. When I search for guitar, it should show me guitars list smoothly. So I go to list.html file and add the directive, which is ng animate equal to animate. So this is the thing we use where we want the animation to appear. Remember, this is our guitars list, which have this ng repeat directive. So ng repeat is iterating through the data.json file that we have right here and showing us the list into this list item. So I have added that ng animate to this list item. Let's see how our application looks like now. Here is our first application. I have made a copy of it and let's refresh it. When I go from one page to another page or search for guitar in our updated application, nothing has changed. So what we need to do is we need to specify that way we want the animation. So in the index.html file, I want the animation to appear here. When something is added to that div of main class, I want that animation to. So I go to styles.css file. In the main class, I add some CSS3 transition styles which says is in and out everything uh, for 0.15 seconds for the main class of that div which is in our index.html secondly i uh, want the item holder item holder is our list.html thing so i just added simple transition code to this item holder class too next thing when i hover over my guitars list i want that guitar to pop up a little bit let's see how our application now looks like i go back to my application refresh so here we have a simple effect but when i go from one page to another page it is still jerky when i search for a guitar nothing has changed so i go back and go to the end of styles.css file and enter these styles. It says that when something is entered into the div or it leaves the div or it hides or it shows something in the div. Next, when the data is loaded into the div, I want that opacity to be one. And when the data leaves opacity to be one again. Although these uh, classes are not present in our HTML file, these classes are added by AngularJS to the div when it runs. Let's see how our application now looks like. It loads smoothly. When I write bass guitar, 
it has a smooth effect when it goes from one page to another page it smoothly shows us the other page and when we go back to search here we have smooth text so here is the difference this is our first application it was a bit jerky and here is our updated application you see the smoothness and when we search here we have this effect and when we search here here we have this effect so you can spot the difference if you want to download the project files you can go to uh, this url right here here is my blog and at the bottom of this article you can find this download project files hope you like it thanks for watching